have you reconsidered integrating Pattinson's Batman into your DCU? I've contemplated it. Yeah, I've <laughs> contemplated it. <laughs> I've got to <laughs> contemplate everything, John. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James, thanks for stopping by. If you're looking forward to the DCU and the Batman Part 2, Part 3, all things like that, hit that subscribe button. We talk about it all the time here on the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now I want to talk about James Gunn Creature Commandos debuted today and along with it, the beginnings of the DCU, effectively making the Batman an Elseworld story. Now, about a month ago, there were rumors and reports circulating that David Zaslav at Warner Brothers wanted Robert Pattinson to be Batman in the DCU. And the whole DC shakeup occurred, and James Gunn and Peter Safran were hired to take over DC Studios. They decided there would be Elseworld stories and the DCU. And with that, Joker would be a Joker 2 fully ado would be an Elseworld story, but that also wasn't part of the DC Studios plan. But the Batman was, and that would be a true Elseworld story. But with the success of the Batman, with the success of the Penguin, the rumors were that Zaslav really, really wanted Robert Pattinson to be the DCU Batman because it was a surefire success, right? Because everything associated with that Batman has been a hit so far, both critically and financially. So it kind of makes sense from an executive from a studio perspective to do that. But back in December of 2023, James Gunn said, Nope. The deal was that Matt Reeves would have his own separate Elseworlds story and he would be able to do what he wants to do that would not affect in any way whatsoever or be affected in any way whatsoever by the DCU and by the Batman and the events that occur within that storyline. So you have two separate storylines. As confusing as that might be for general audiences coming down the road, I think it's the right choice. But now, on, on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, James Gunn is talking, obviously, Creature Commandos and a lot more. We'll do more videos breaking down this podcast uh, interview that he did because it's actually a really good one. You should check it out. It's over on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. Great interview. Has some great answers and some non-answers as well. But in it, of course, he was asked by Josh Horowitz, hey, have you considered having Pattinson as the Batman in the DCU? And James Gunn actually takes the time to think about his answer. He does it a few times in this interview. That's why I think it's a, a solid interview because he actually thinks about it. And he doesn't just give the yeah, of course, or no, definitely not answer. He gives it some time, some thought, and some respect to the question as well because I think he also knows that there's a lot of people out there, like you and me included, that want to hear what he would have to say about incorporating Pattinson's Batman in his DCU and could that work and whatnot. Now he obviously doesn't go into that great detail, but he does say, yeah, I did give it some thought. He never, he doesn't end up ever actually saying no, but he says, I did give it some thought. And then he kind of, you know, thinks about, of course he did because it's smart and, and whatnot. And only an idiot would not think about that in any way whatsoever. And it got me thinking, I look, he also kind of reaffirms how he wants the Elseworlds story to kind of be. And one thing he loves about DC Comics versus Marvel Comics is the use of the Elseworlds stuff. That's one thing. He, he brought that up then. He's brought it up several times. And so that's why I don't think we'll get Pattinson. And that's why I'm excited for what's to come because there will be stories that aren't going to connect. And how you separate those with what do connect, that is going to be, I think, you know, more of a struggle for the studio for marketing and stuff like that. But I, I'm anxious to see what they're going to do because Marvel, as great as it is, there's some things that's like, man, that doesn't have to connect. Like, I loved Werewolf by Night, and it, I guess it kind of connects, but it doesn't connect. And sometimes you need, I think, those things every once in a while just to like cleanse the palate a little bit and be like, here's a, here's a separate story. And I think it's nice, and it's nice to give cre creatives a free reign to do what they want to do with certain characters and whatnot. Yeah, you would be an right. idiot not to have that. They make I mean, everything I get it. to mean. You'd be an no, idiot I... not to think what's this gonna, you know, how does this go? How does this go? You know, but I'm right. committed to both telling stories in the DCU and telling Elseworlds story. I want. No, it's not always a surefire hit. Don't get me wrong. It shouldn't always be that way, but that's how I feel. But Robert Pattinson in the DCU, I don't like the idea of that. I don't think I ever really did, only because he's such a grounded Batman. And yeah, I, you can have him come over there and be and you have the fantastical stuff and we'd probably buy it if it was done properly and correctly we'd probably end up buying it but ultimately do we need that is that what we want from our films i think having a batman that is more suited to the storylines and that can fit in a little bit better like someone a little bit more extravagant a batman that is a little bit more extravagant than robert pattinson's batman in the dcu 
a different version of Bruce Wayne and a different version of Batman himself. Because while I like what they did with the Batman, I think it's time to give us something a little bit different and someone a little bit older. I know Pattinson's not that young, but if he's going to have Damian Wayne as, as his child, as Robin, he wants someone maybe a little bit older and definitely a little bit more mature. This Batman is not mature. Now, obviously, he's going to be more mature in the Batman 2 and 3, clearly, but he's not there yet. And I feel like the DCU would be better suited to have a Batman who's already mature and in there. But I love that James Gunn is coming out and talking about it and not just lying like, no, of course not. Uh, you know, he's giving honest answers like, you know, of course we thought about it. And it might still be a conversation being had behind the scenes. Obviously, there's no script for Batman Brave and the Bold. And there's obviously clearly because of that been no casting for Batman Brave and the Bold. All we know is Andy Muschietti is uh, directing that motion picture. And James Gunn and Matt Reeves have a very, very strong working relationship together. Now, if you continue Pattinson as Batman in a DCU, where does that leave Batman Brave and the Bold? And where does that leave the Batman Part 2 and Part 3, and that's the confusing part, right? Because I don't think you can do a Batman Brave and the Bold if you're finishing these, or you're waiting until the Matt Reeves trilogy ends before you do Batman Brave and the Bold. That being said, Robert Pattinson just said, I might be retiring by the time we do the third movie because it's taking so long to do these scripts, so long to get these movies, that who knows when they'll be ready, and does James Gunn want to wait to introduce Batman in the DCU for that long? Or do you say, okay, Pattinson's our Batman, no more Brave and the Bold, and you bring him in, but then your whole introductory video that you did a year or so ago is now just a lie. Like everything you did a lie is a lie. I'm not even sure Swamp Thing's going to happen still, to be honest. But so I don't think you want to like I don't think you want to go down that path. And that's why I think you just you let Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson do their Batman thing over here. It's an Elseworld story. You have your Batman over here. And you know what? You want to do multiverse stuff. You want to go back into the multiverse. You go for it because you've got an opening. You've got multiple Batman, and it can work. But to be honest, I kind of want Batman in the Matt Reeves DCU to have a Robin. I'm very excited to see Robin, see Batman with a Robin. But again, if you're going to make him that Batman, then he has to have, obviously, a Dick Grayson and possibly Jason Todd. We don't know if Dynamic Duo is Elseworlds or if it's in the DCU either. And what I would really like to have him to have Batman had a Dick Grayson in his life at some point in the DCU. At some point in the DCU would have a Dick Grayson who eventually went off on his own and became Nightwing. And that is something that I think would be very important to a Batman who is raising Damian Wayne or trying to anyway. And it's just something that I don't know if the Robert Pattinson Batman could have in an effective way where you'd be rushing into it or you'd be like, there's a time jump and Dick Grayson. I don't know if it works out. So I'd rather see all that kind of fleshed out, obviously in reverse, because we know the story of Dick Grayson, Robin and whatnot. But I would like to see that play out in the DCU. And that's one of the things I'm excited about is I don't think we've had like a great Dick Grayson represented on screen. Chris O'Donnell, Holy Rusted Metal, it's phenomenal, don't get me wrong. But again, like someone who, you know, in those movies, they were kind of leading towards him becoming Nightwing. Obviously, his costume changed. He wants to separate from Batman. But how about you give us that? How about you give us Nightwing? We got him, obviously, in the Titan show. But let's see where he goes in the DCU. And then that obviously can spin you off into more. And, and James Gunn has made reference to the Bat family. How the Brave and the Bold is our entry point into the Bat family. So hopefully we get a Dick Grayson, maybe a Stephanie Brown. Maybe we go a little further. And we get other characters where the patents in Batman, I don't know, would work within that environment. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Would you like to see Robert Pattinson as Batman in the DCU? Or are you saying, nope, keep them separate. I want a different Batman here and another Batman there. I like the way it's going. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And may you be the master of your own universe.